you know, we are on the verge of a holiday season, summer vacations for uh, students. So, uh, you know, earlier this week, we got a lot of holiday stocks as well, hospitality stocks. Sometime back, you picked Indian hotels. Do you still keep the faith in hotel stocks? Yeah, the hospitality sector, after a decade, I strongly feel of the stock price is uh, much below uh, than I recommended uh, a few months ago. I think it was 105, today it is 95 or kind of prices. Uh, it's, it's again, you know, it's not a well-managed company. It's the biggest problem with Indian hotels. The management is very bad, I have to say that. Okay. Otherwise, the company, structurally, it's a fantastic company. The kind of properties, operational properties they own, mm. the, the market caps will be at least uh, three, four times if better managed. Mm. If, if a reasonably good management comes and take it over. Uh, but that, I, I can't <laughs> talk much about this. And there could be, you know, stock companies like, uh, you know, um, the Royal Orchid. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's in a very good expansion mode and very clean company. Uh, it's mostly into management of uh, the hotels, uh, Oriental hotels. Are, I think that segment is to be uh, looked at by investors. They are available at, uh, you know, the, the sentiment is bad on the industry for last many years. Mm -hmm. And so, so that these companies are available at a very uh, attractive valuations. Mm -hmm. That's what I, uh, I would like to talk about this. And I think people, and there is, after many, many years, you know, in spite of the fact that too many hotels have come up, too many properties are happening all over the country, still there is like, you know, shortage of hotel rooms happening in the five-star and four-star segment uh, most of the seasonal time. Okay. So that is a very positive for this, uh, the margins, profit margins for these companies can go up.